Hello everyone, my name is Derby Guinea and welcome or welcome back to another video. This is pretty much the same as my last Annoying Tropes video. If you haven't watched that one, please check it out before or after this one. That would be much appreciated. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. If you're watching a slice of life anime, odds are there's going to be an episode when a character is sick. And oh my goodness, do they get sick. Like I know colds are not fun in the least bit, especially them summer colds when your whole body be aching. But it can't just be a normal cold. They gotta be going through the bubonic plague with the way some of these characters be falling out. They're unable to move or get comfortable and sometimes need someone to take care of them. And the stakes are always so high too, like getting sick before a test, getting sick before a very important event, or risking getting sick for the plot. Oh, and simply just standing in the rain. Has anyone actually gotten sick by standing in a rain? That never happened to me before. And there were times I would be absolutely drenched from head to toe. That actually happened to me not too long ago. Oh. Sick episodes are just as common as beach episodes. There's no avoiding it at this point. I swear the two most dangerous things to slice of life are colds or the infamous truck coon. I hate long titles so much, they're not needed. I already have an awful memory and forget a lot of things almost instantly. So what am I going to do if I try to talk about a show? Or worse, try to find it if I didn't save it at first. This happened to me plenty of times before. I was so lost on finding the title, I was looking up details on the main character just so I could try to find it. Which took forever of course because there's so many silver haired anime characters. And has anyone noticed most of these animes with stupidly long titles are from Isekai? Like, is that the norm for that genre? This is a genuine question. I don't watch Isekai anime that much, I was never really into it. And the titles always either have spoilers or have questions in them, like, I was reincarnated as the seventh prince so I can take my time perfecting my magical ability. Or, the world's finest assassin gets reincarnated in another world as an aristocrat. Or, my personal favorite, World N. What do you do at the end of the world? Are you busy? Will you save us? <laughs> like, why are the questions even added? At this point, they're just making it seem like a cheesy clickbait title you see on YouTube. The evil demon in my closet wants to kill me and my family, but I secretly want it to? But no, there's absolutely no reason for these titles to be that long. It's not necessary at all. Okay, so this next trope is one that has bothered me for years. So after a hard fought battle, destroyed cities, and multiple lives lost, something that a lot of heroes do in anime is forgive the villain. Man, forget forgive, we even got certain ones crying over their deaths. I know a lot of shows be trying to go the understanding the villain route, but I just don't be having it in me all the time. Especially if their reasoning wasn't even all that. I always say sometimes some people are just evil to be evil. Like let's take Orochimaru for example. You crashed out because you didn't get chosen to be Hokage? Like why would you even think you'd be picked with all the weird freaky sh** you were into? But anyways, he had no real good reason to be tweaking like how he was. Like he couldn't even give Sasuke an answer on why he did all that. Yet he out of all people was forgiven. He's literally in Baruto chilling. Like what? So with this one, I don't know why, but when it comes to girls' feelings towards a male character, anime has a habit of making the females either be totally obsessed or very unattracted to the guy. Now it's perfectly normal having a crush, don't get me wrong, but I can't stand when the girls drag it. Maybe because I am a girl it hits a little harder, but even in real life I hate when a girl is overly delusional about a guy. So you know every time I see it in anime, I'm eventually gonna get tight. The guy can show them time after time he doesn't really care about them, and still, she's gonna hit him with one of these. I know you hate me. Just stop. Like, girl, stand up. I don't know, man. I just hate to see it. Before I get a comment about it, no, not all flashbacks are bad. Some flashbacks may benefit the character or plot. A good example of this is Death Parade, as flashbacks are needed within the plot and serves a purpose to keep the show going. 
or a character the viewer has been following for a very long time and they decide to trauma dump a bunch of backstory so we can sympathize or root for them just a little bit harder. Like Keo from Fruits Basket. And yes, that's my 100% biased opinion. Fruits Basket has no flaws. Don't come for me or that show or expect these paws. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> but yeah, flashbacks are cool if they're done right. There are plenty of flashbacks and backstories that are either done to death or poorly done to where it's just lazy. Like when a character is on the verge of being defeated and we get a tragic flashback on their life before they're ultimately defeated. Like... Okay, was I supposed to feel bad for them at the end? Weren't you just about to kill the MC? Or repeated flashbacks. <coughs> Naruto, <coughs> that stupid swing. Or when the entire episode is just a dedicated flashback on what we've already seen before. Ugh, those irk me the most. Like, yeah, I could simply just skip the episode and move on to the next one, but what if I was watching it on scheduled release, only to find out it was just a recap episode? Ooh, that would be so infuriating. Speaking of recaps, those aren't safe for my wrath either. There shouldn't be a 5 minute long recap on a previous episode I've just watched. They're doing nothing but padding for time, it's so lazy. In order to make sports anime interesting, you have to have some form of exaggeration on plays or moves, or else you might as well just watch the real thing. But some of these scenes be making me roll my eyes out of sheer annoyance. I'm not asking for too much realism, but at the same time, using superhuman powers and skills for a sports anime is kinda doing a lot. Like are the laser focus eyes really that necessary? And don't even get me started on Blue Lock. The opening and manga show a field of bodies on the ground. Like is this even about soccer anymore? What do you mean by devour? What do you mean by that? Power levels are always inconsistent and hard to keep track of, and at times just not even fair. So you mean to tell me that you can predict what move I'm going to make before I even do it? You have the ability to freeze time and steal the ball from me? Nah, get me out of the game, coach. Ain't no way. Nah, I agree because I'm actually okay in volleyball, but if I got to go against someone screaming rolling thunder, I'm quitting the match immediately. I don't care. But yeah, this is partly why I personally can't watch too much sports anime. Like, it's really a hit or miss. For one, yes, the dramatics for every little thing be killing me. They make it seem like it's life or death. But one thing I can promise you is that you're definitely going to be more stressed watching this than actual sports. But still, I for one can do without all the theatrics. But besides that, I feel like a lot of it is just repetitive plot wise. Which is not necessarily a bad thing because plenty of demographics have their repetitive traits too. Like, I love Battle Shonen, but we all know some of the rinse and repeat tactics they do as well. But the thing with sports anime, I just find theirs way more annoying. We always got the unathletic MC who ends up being a secret goat out of nowhere, the good looking, better playing rival, the MVP player who always returns at the right time, useless coaches, the list goes on. Thank you so much to Lindu for making this video possible. The link in her channel will be down in the description box. Please, please, please give her all the support she deserves. And that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do me a favor and pull on that like button and subscribe. Until the next video, Derpy out.